Colby Hall, contributor and founding editor of Mediaite, is with us. Uh, you mentioned and noted that MSNBC's Morning Joe, which is their uh, morning program, it's the favorite president, uh, favorite television show of President Biden, was off the air this morning. Does that mean that there is starting to be a fairness, or is this just a one-off way of trying to say by the media we're doing our part before they go back to being partisan? I don't think it's the end of opinion media or progressive points of view on MSNBC. It was a stunning decision, and, and I think likely a miscalculation by MSNBC and NBC News Brass. This is their flagship show, and they basically, it's a tacit admission that they didn't trust them with either covering breaking news from the assassination attempt on Trump or saying something so stupid that they would draw criticism. So what did they do? They pulled the plug, and yeah, like I, it's a stunning decision that I think got a lot of feedback, and the repercussions were still sort of feeling. Feeling still in the media world, I'm gonna give you the last 30 seconds. Uh, since January 6th, the media has held Republicans to account. It's not just enough to condemn violence, you cannot use rhetoric that might inspire violence. Thank you. Now, we hear Joe Biden's going to keep saying Donald Trump is a threat to democracy and say the very same things as before the shooting. What happens in terms of the coverage of Joe Biden? Violent rhetoric is in the eye of the beholder, right? And, you know, a left-leaning media loves to condemn that which they believe is sort of dangerous rhetoric. But they, they clearly very often employ the same thing, right? So, you know, this idea that he's a threat to democracy, he's, you know, the next Hitler... Of course, that's irresponsible hyperbole. Um, we see it on both sides. And, you know, I, I'm not expecting the media to suddenly take on a new tone of unity. Neither am I expecting that from Trump or Biden either. Yeah, well, that's probably fair um, in terms of Alex Thompson said it would last about 16 hours. Um, and that's that's where we're at because it gets it gets viewers. Colby, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Obviously, uh, the media coverage of this week will be a big part of it, something Republicans like to complain an awful lot about. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.